So, Mojave, Mojave Outdoors. Yes, indeed. And what do we got here? Kaiser. But, what do we got here? Ray Laconico. Okay. Ray Laconico design. The Gemini. You know, and they make, this is the, the big one, right? They make a mini. Actually, Mojave Outdoors has a mini as well, but this is an exclusive they have. And then check out the mini. I think it's got a choice of like blue or red aluminum scales, and it's a mini. It's smaller than this. Let me see if I can cut my hand one more time there. Yikes. Okay, see what I'm saying? Mojave Outdoor. And join the Mo Club. And I believe you can um, earn points when you buy knives and maybe send the information to your friends. Uh, check that out. I, I, I don't remember all the details of that, of that club, but uh, I know I've earned points by buying knives and this and that. And I, I don't recall that I ever really understood how I accumulated points specifically, but you will be more intelligent in doing that. But I know that I have, you know, had discounts online buying things through Mo Mojave because of that. So this one's 75 Smackers. And uh, I'll give you the link to their site. Um, they have an Amazon store. They got this. They got, I think, an eBay as well. And I'll put all the links down below with any appropriate discount information that I may have. Okay. Burlap micarta. Okay. And here's where they're saying, yes, it's a Mojave. And, and there's the model number, Mojave Outdoor Exclusive. Okay. So you got that. You got an N690 blade. And they talk about N690 corrosion resistant because it's got 17% chromium, etc. And cobalt, which makes everything better, doesn't it? And then pocket clip, deep carry, etc. And here's your specs. 2.8 ounces, drop point, you know, 3.1 inch blade. And the, the mini's like 0.6 something inch blade. Uh, I can't remember exactly now. But... Uh, Liner lock, etc. Laconico design. So let's look at it. And it's this is drop shutty. This is definitely a fidget friendly knife. Check it out. Let me just like that. That's just amazing. Okay. Um, and you know, the Gemini is a typical Laconico design in the way that less is more. It's a very simple design. It's not overly complicated, uh, but the blade is really functional looking. And let me see if I got a piece of paper somewhere. Oh, here you go. Here's a huge piece of paper. Ooh, okay, but never mind. Okay, yes, it's sharp. Okay, never mind. Ah, here's the box, by the way. Gemini, okay? Um, and inside, by the way, also, you might want to take a look at that. Yep. You got stickers. You got stickers. Okay. And extra hardware as well. All right. There's the plastic the knife comes in. And then here's the piece that you get to rip to shreds because it never opens well. It never opens well or ends well with me on this. No, oh, actually, first time. Okay, so just kind of a generic, you know, uh, some pictures, etc. But uh, And not of the knife in question, but just general pictures. And then uh, microfiber cloth. So you get a microfiber cloth, you get, uh, you know, extra hardware and stuff like that. So... Uh, that's what you get, and you get stickers as well, and it all comes in a box, just like this, not the most structural box around, but it's a box, nevertheless, crunch, there it goes, just like that, so how heavy is this dog, and let's see, uh, about 80 grams, 
okay? Now let's roll it around to ounces and see what that equals. It's pretty lightweight, 2.8 ounces. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, that's a hell of a drop. 0.42 uh, inches at 10.7 millimeter thick. So it's slender in the pocket, 2.6 millimeter blade stock at 0.1 of an inch, okay? So, and did I measure that on the fattest part? Uh, get right up here. Come on. Yeah, 0.1, 2.7. Okay. Yeah, I looked at that and I go, I think I was on the grind area, but okay. 2.7 millimeters and stonewash blade. Uh, it is grippy. This burlap micarta. I think I saw in there they called it green burlap micarta. I don't know that it's green. It's just kind of a burlap. Brown, maybe brownish green type thing. So check it out. Wow. Uh, ergos are great on this knife. No question about that. Where's your pocket clip? It is right hand tip up only. Um... It is flat screws here, okay? And the pocket clip design is really good. I like that. It goes in and out of the pocket great. So, and look at the liners on here. Okay, they don't show. They're nested inside. So, uh, there's some people that like nested liners, others that do not like nested liners. They like their liners that kind of show like this elementum. You know, they're visible there. Um, so, uh, me, I don't really care necessarily. Uh, and, you know, especially when they come on, you know, smaller knives that are light to medium use. They're not really a heavy duty knife anyhow. And they're fairly slender, fairly lightweight, easy carry. Flipper tab, it's all there. There's no jimping on it. There's no jimping on the top of the blade either. But, I mean, it's easy to get good purchase on it. Reverse grip is there as well, if need be. Uh, balance on the blade is right there. Easy to disengage. And let's see where we are. Blade to handle length is good. And design flow is... Laconica, what can I say? It's good. Um, yeah, you, you'll feel it if you get one of these. You'll know it's got a nice drop to it. It, Yeah. Sounds good, too. Yeah. Centered. No blade player lock rock. It's not very expensive. It's a budget knife. I get it. and uh, But it's got a nice little bit of a backspacer here. And so you're tubed for your lanyard to go through if you want to put a lanyard on it. Okay. Um, Hardware is nothing to write home about, but it's functional. And it's probably appropriate that it's black. So I'm not going to complain about that. But the Gemini, God, it's been... Wow, it's been popular, and it's been around for years now. And you know what? Titanium, remember that when it came out in titanium? Probably still pick them up in that. But burlap micarta, now the mini's in aluminum. Probably G10 on a Vanguard uh, series, and this is probably a Vanguard as well. It's a V, yeah, okay, so... But it's from uh, Mojave, and they just, you know, they have, they're, they're pretty much the Kaiser Joes now. I mean, they, they, they got it all going on when it's Kaiser. Talking about Kaiser, boom. They're doing a lot of exclusives. So check their site out and take a look. I mean, got a lot of the, you know, the Feist, the Gemini, and... Oh God! Just keep going on the the sheepdog and and you name it. So 
uh, the bay glider, etc., etc. A lot of popular designs uh, from Kaiser, and they're they're coming out with new ones too all the time. So it's uh, it's it's happening over on their side. Got our microfiber down here, not our white shop towel, but maybe this will give us a little bit more of a contrast here. And if we're going to tore it apart, how are we going to tore it apart? Just like this. Hold on. Oh, well, that wasn't stuck in there too hard, was it? That was easy. Bank, that falls right out. Now, let me see. What do we got? Now, these are number sixes. Okay, hold on. Yeah, number six. I don't know if the screw's going to come out the right way, but at least I'm I'm holding it to it. Oh, there you go. There you go. It's going to come out the other side. Okay. Well, good little knife, buddy. It just uh, had to give it a little support on that side. Now, looks like I don't know if that screw comes through to there or if it's buried under the clip. This will be interesting. And let's see. Take that off. Whew. We're tight on that one. Look at that. Woo. That is, that's a fit right there. Okay, next. Okay. You want to come out too? Of course. And there's the pocket clip. And yes, there is one buried behind there. I was kind of wondering. I thought, nah, that's, that's a little far north to be part of that pocket clip set up on the other side. So this, nope, this is a, uh, which kind of begs the question if you could have, you know, just moved this up and got rid of this third hole or used the top and then a second and deleted one of these holes, maybe, I don't know. Um, good question though. And kick this around, pull this off, and then we just lost our blade stop. There's that. And here's everything else. There's a standoff because we took the screw out from the other side, the body screw. And uh, it's not skeletonized in here, but it's, it's uh, nested. And we're good, good uh, ceramic detent ball there. And there's our micarta backspacer. Here's our ceramic bearings, both front and back. Okay. Other than that, it looks clean. And let me see what we got here. Mm, kind of a squared off area because we got kind of a squared off pivot here. So we're good when that... Uh, Oh, and uh, it's skeletonized. So, okay, so we're squared off. We're skeletonized. We got ceramic bearings. We're, we're good. Uh, let me see. Where this... Uh, that's one thing about black hardware. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, now we're good. All right, we're good. And, of course, we've got a, our stop. So, yeah. Put that in there and then this back in boy everything's everything's dark it's black against black through this camera um and right here okay and right here go against all that and we're good and what else do we got to do well we got to support this little dog right here like that and then of course this from the other side is going to sit down on that in that other hole and I think that's it for that part of it at least just like that and then we got to put this number eight everything else is number six I believe on this body and the pocket clip 
So let's not get this snug down too hard. That's good enough. And okay, so we're good there. We got a body screw on the other side. Where's my two pocket clip? Because these other screws are rounded on the head, but the pocket clip is flat screws. So we're good for being able to figure that out. And that's going to go right in. Okay. And yeah, that tightens down. Now another one, and of course this goes in behind and underneath that pocket clip. So you got to do this one first. And I must have those little plus. Is that a plus? Yeah, it's a plus. Okay, I was thinking it's a it's barely fitting in there because it's a plus and it may be a little fat for some of these the heads of some of these screws and then other screws it's actually a better fit but okay come here there we go and they look to be the same size and uh, you go here yeah good thing about that it's sticking right on the on the bed isn't it okay now Let's get you, okay, sometimes you got to push and turn on that lower pocket clip screw, and it's not just this model, I mean, I've noticed this with others as well, that this is the tougher one to get seated first, and then the second one will sit down, okay, and it's centered, what are we doing? Still dropping good. No play. We're good. All right, we're back with Big Mo. Big Mo, Big Mojave. Um, you know, and, and all these places I run into that I, that I learn about are because of viewers that contact me and go, you know about Mojave Outdoor, right? And I'm going, uh-huh. You know, and so this that was months ago, right? But... Uh, just so many of the things that I talk about on this channel are because I learned from the viewers because people are out there, you know, searching things down and having different, you know, uh, results, learning. So I get to be kind of the depository uh, or at least the beneficiary of a lot of different people and they're, what they're experiencing and what they're running into and finding out. And it's nice that they bring me in on this because, God, there's so much going on, isn't there? There is so much going on uh, with the knife world. It's just insane. There's no way to keep up. But uh, thank you so much. You know, Mojave Outdoors. Now I know the Kaiser boys, you know, this is rocking and rolling. And you know what we do? We we love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.